it's official, ladies and gentlemen. The weekend is no more. It's obviously melodramatic. We obviously still have one more album coming. And then on top of that, we still have the soundtrack for The Idol. I'm, I don't. I mean, I don't know if he's releasing that under The Weeknd. I would assume he still is since he's still The Weeknd until after life drops. Uh, but, you know, he he's officially come out in this W magazine and said, The Weeknd, I'm killing him off. I'm killing him. And obviously, news like that is is shocking to the to a fan base that's as diehard as the weekend. I would say that a lot of EXO is very stan like when it comes to the weekend. He is that level of global superstar as of today where he's going to have the same type of, you know, obviously a very dedicated fan base, but then there's also the overly dedicated that <laughs> approaches toxic just like just like Taylor Swift, just like Eminem, just like K-pop, just you know, it, it, he's that level of superstar and us as hyper fans of him and people who have dedicated their or at least adolescence or maybe their early 20s such as myself when he dropped and he was the soundtrack to a lot of my life for the last you know 10 12 years obviously the, him him leaving the weekend persona is like a bittersweet moment you know it's something that intuitively me as someone who is aware of a storyline and a lot of people I'm sure who are EXO are fully aware. He's, he's been killing off this character in this trilogy. He started the entire weekend persona with a trilogy and now here we are killing off that persona with a trilogy. So if you were intuitive or if you know if you follow along anywhere semi deep enough. You probably could have seen this coming, but that doesn't make it any less sad. You are bittersweet, you know? It's the same how I feel about James Bond. For those that don't know me, I am an avid James Bond fan. I'm talking about since I was like eight years old. I have seen every James Bond movie through and through minimum three times. Obviously, I grew up with Daniel Craig as my James Bond and even seen all of the movies, seen every single iteration of James Bond, every single actor that has come through and played him. I objectively believe that Daniel Craig is the best James Bond. He is the most dark. He is the most revengeful. He took he took James Bond and turned it from just like this, you know, fucking smooth talking suave spy and it and put a chip on his shoulder. And I enjoyed that about him. And he's been my James Bond for the past 15, 17 years, however long he's been James Bond, probably the longest running of them all. It's got to come to an end eventually, you know, you can't play James Bond when you're 65. So I knew it was coming to an end, but I was still, you know, emotional about it because it's been a big part of my life. And that is exactly how I feel about the weekend. But it, it makes complete sense if we're being honest with each other. You know, me in my mid thirties and, or, you know, I guess I'm approached. Oh, shit. This year in a month, I am going to be in my mid 30s. I'm going to be 34. Holy fuck. Yeah, I'm old. When you're in your mid 30s, we're, we're roughly the same age, me and Abel. Like being being the being the toxic dude, being the manipulative dude, being the disposing dude, the one that just uses women and disposes of them and living in this party life and being very dark and secretive and mysterious. That doesn't that doesn't play out the same for someone who's going to be 35 as it does for someone who's 23. Like that is not the same look anymore. And and you can tell, and, and he's aged his music appropriately in the sense that now his music in this trilogy is not, it's the regretful, it's the regretful mentality that he's had for all of the ills and everything that he's done wrong in the early trilogy and Kiss Land and all of that. But after this, where do we go? You know, like if we're still keeping the weekend alive, which he's clearly not, he's been killing them off for three for, for three albums now, especially after Afterlife, where, like, where is he supposed to go story-wise? Where is the artist or the persona of The weekend supposed to go story-wise? Does he just keep making sad music and he's regretful even though he's in the afterlife? Does he revert back to being the, the party life and, and fuck women and their, and their objects to me? I use them for my pleasure and dispose of them? You can't do that when you're 35. You can, but it's like, grow up already. You know what I mean? So all that just to say that I made this video because obviously The Weeknd is a, he's probably my favorite artist, uh, I'm him and Drake. And, and that's such like a cop out. That's such an easy thing to say. Like, oh, of course, him and Drake are your, are your top artists. He, they're, those are the two top artists in the world for 90% of the world. And that might be true, but during my formative years, especially in my early 20s, and I found The Weeknd when he was just the mixtape and XOXOXOXOXO on YouTube, it be only being able to go get the mixtapes on The Weeknd's website and then it closed down so you could only get them a certain amount of times. Uh, so going from that and being there along for the ride and the same age as him, much in the same way that Drake, he, Drake's a little bit older than me, but 
I also found Drake during the mixtape days. I found him during comeback season and YouTube and, and all those kind of things and seen him blossom into the global superstar that he is. And obviously music plays a big part of who I am. That's why the channel exists. Abel closing the book potentially of the weekend is like the first domino effect for me of people who I grew up with and people whose music spoke to me, they're coming to a close retirement. Drake's already alluded that he is also coming to like, he's not, he's not doing it as quickly as the weekend and Abel's not retiring. He's still more than likely going to make music as Abel, but the weekend is coming to a close. And Drake's already alluded that he is coming to that peak of the roller coaster and the roller coaster, he's on it. And it, and we know that the roller coaster is about to come into an end and everybody's going to get off. Like these are, these are major artists that have alluded to all of that. So it's obviously just a bittersweet moment, but EXO, happy that y'all guys have been in here for the ride. Um, there's going to be more able content, more weekend content as we get it. So yeah, you know, he's not, he's not going to new, he's not going away at any point on this channel. Actually in, are we going to be called something other than EXO now? Is EXO part of ABLE or is EXO, or is EXO part of the weekend? Like, is the fan base going to change? And if it does, what the fuck's going to happen with all y'all that got EXO tattoos?